in addition to Ernest's unique processes, he developed his own signature style. His style included things like stained glass effects, original design borders, complex and puzzling geometric designs, large stars, and bold color choices. Ernest made the, the Nebraska Centennial Quilt in 1967 to celebrate the Nebraska Centennial. There was a special category in the State Fair for quilts commemorating the event. This is a perfect example of Ernest's use of the stained glass effect in his quilts. He has incorporated a thin black strip about 1 8 to 3 16 inch wide in between all of the pattern pieces. It articulates the design causing high contrast between the piece of black and the pattern pieces. And at a distance it does look like light coming through a stained glass. And that was Ernest's intention. Even though Ernest made quilts using other people's designs for the basic block, he made these designs his own by adding original border designs. Now, sometimes these borders were an extension of the block itself into the border design, and other times it was something very simple that just framed the quilt. The Bachelor's Puzzle is a good example of Ernest creating an original border that's inspired by the center of the quilt. In this case, he simply extended the lines of the block pattern out into the border and then he added other lines that crossed them and created this woven effect that's very striking. His border covers almost as much area as the center of the quilt. Ernest made quilts that were called puzzles like Bachelor's Puzzle, Greek Puzzle, those are the names of the patterns. But he also made quilts that were visual puzzles they gave the illusion of a third dimension or layers when it was actually a two-dimensional object. This is the kaleidoscope star quilt. Ernest actually looked in a kaleidoscope and sketched what he saw to create this pattern. He pieced the top, but his father Elmer did the hand quilting. Ernest made inscriptions in zigzag stitches on the sides of many of his quilts. And in this one, he gives tribute to his father who did the hand quilting at 75 years of age. It seems that large star designs were some of Ernest's favorites because he made many variations. I kind of like to think of his star patterns as the quilt version of monumental architecture. This is the plaid star, and it's a, a large medallion in the middle, and then Ernest made smaller versions of the star so to surround the center star, and then he elongated parts of the star to make these corner elements. He called this the comet star. Ernest was confident in his use of color in quilts, and it was very important to him. He would spend time sketching or drawing and coloring the pattern to see which color combinations he preferred. It was all part of solving the puzzle of making the quilt the best way. Isabel, his wife, described what it was like to go to the fabric store with Ernest. He spent several evenings drawing patterns and coloring them with Crayolas until he had both design and color to suit him. He took his color design to the department store where an especially sympathetic clerk searched till she found the right shades even when she had to order some shades, especially for him, 